many of you did this the fast foundational story fast both those online and those who are here hear me there is a prophetic assignment you will do this week someone did the honey fast oh i am still receiving testimony to you today and someone did a foundational story rewriting fast this week the stories the testimonies we are so much we have exceeded our closing time but let me just read one that somebody sent to me before i give you what to do this week sit on sunday good morning sir how is work and family sir you will receive an a lot of dash naira from my seat of fast we close that uh, we we'll cancel the money you don't and as you give, bring your own so that we'll cancel it to you mean <laughs> praise the lord he said on Sunday around 7 15 p.m. I received the gift of so 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 money. Cancel, uh, close the game from my cousin living in the UK. I want to appreciate God for making making my life sweet and thank God for your life to hear from God and give us an instruction to follow. I believe God has rearranged my foundational story in Jesus name. Thank you man of God and God bless you. This is someone to receive financial favor. Sometimes they stay year to year. Nobody remembers them. You know you can have people living abroad. Nobody remembers you. But this one looked after this relating of foundational story. Under how many seconds? Somebody say alarm blue. Alarm blue. Say alert. Alert. Alert entered the person's phone. He said Why? sir this prayer is working. Let me tell you if you engaged in the weekly fast you did the hunting fast, you did the foundational story fast. Before I give you the one to do this week, I want to pray for you as a prophet. And I, I close receive. that prayer. Both those of you who sowed seeds online, those here, your testimonies will come as a rain in the name of Jesus. Amen! Even as you join this week's fast again, mm. oh Manu Shakata, testimonies are coming. Left, Amen. right, center in the name of Jesus. Amen! Amen. Hear me and hear me well. Yes, sir. God told me that this week I should tell his people mm. to engage on another fast. Are you tired of praying? Are you, are you ever tired of eating? No, no sir. Every week, pastor, are telling us to fast. Yes, we'll fast again this week. Yes, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Friday. Friday. We won't give up. He said the part of the just is as the bright, bright shining light uh -huh. that shines brighter and brighter right. unto the perfect day. There is no sir. perfect day until Jesus comes. Yes, sir. We keep on sharpening our light till Jesus comes. Are you hearing me now? Yes, yes sir. So this week, hear me. The prophetic assignment is titled Money and Wealth in This Land Locate Me. Hmm. Money and Wealth in This yeah. Land Do what? Locate, locate me. Now. Every land has money. Every land has wealth. Every land has treasure. Now those people where Sabi where they think they, they go take her. If you don't know where it is, you won't take it. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. sir. You don't need one special counseling session for you to have a testimony. Uh -oh. They are just doing what I instructed them to do. You don't just need a call from me. Just do it because it's God that answers the prayer. Mine is to hear God. What can these people do? What can I do, God? What is it that I can do? God will reveal it to his servant. He said he does nothing until he reveals it to his servant. He has revealed it to me. I am giving it to you now. Run with it. You don't need to come for me to lay hand on you. Just do it. And this week God captured it. Money and wealth in this land locate me. On Monday, you will fast. Big sand from that place where you live. You are living in a country. You are living in the states or Nigeria, wherever you, your place you residence, pack sand there. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Put that sand in paper or waterproof. Anytime you pray, bring out that sand. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. This land, I command the wealth. Are, are you, do you see what I'm doing? Yes, yes sir. You speak, say, O et, O et, hear the word of the Lord. It's in, it's in the Bible. Yes, say, sir. O et, 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 three times, hear the word wow. of the Lord. Now, the two scriptures we use for the fasting is Deuteronomy 11, verse 24. Psalm 68 19. But let me read the Deuteronomy. Can we have it on the screen? Deuteronomy 11, verse 24. These are the two scriptures for this week's fasting. You use it on Monday, you use it on Wednesday, and you use it on Friday. And on Sunday, again, like this, I will close the prayers for you here. And those online, when they watch online, they will also witness the closing of the prayer. Every place we are on the so 
sole of your feet shall tread shall be yours from the wilderness and the Lebanon from the rivers to the river Euphrates even unto the uttermost sea shall your coast be he said anywhere the sole of your feet them are you hear me now yes sir you pack sand and say the sole of my feet has been here the economic power of this state come to me uh, financial power of this state come, come to, to me. me everything that is good in this state come, come to, to me. me are you hear me now yes sir. that is just the first thing for monday tuesday wednesday and friday the second scripture is psalm 68 verse 19 i believe you are writing it down psalm 68 verse 19 it says Psalm 68 verse 19 Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits He said the first thing is money and wealth locate me He said he daily loaded us with benefits Father in this land where I am Daily load He said every day has a benefit Any day don't have a benefit and you have trouble Satan has switched it I see it now. Yes, sir. Last week we dealt with foundation. We have addressed our foundational issue. Last two weeks we dealt with making our life sweet with honey. Now we are prepared to command. Even next week there will be another assignment. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. sir. These are the three things you need to do. I Give the fasting a serious approach. Number two, pray and fast with this scripture. Number three, close each of your fasting with a sacrifice on the altar. But what I am telling you is to ensure. Your heart is in the prayer, number one. Number two, do what? Pray with scriptures, the two scriptures. And number three, close each day of the fasting with the sacrifice. Lay it on the other. Let something leave you. And say, God, I am exchanging this for this. You are not buying prayer. You are doing what the scripture says. Appear not before your Lord, your God. Empty handed. Okay. Close Monday with a sacrifice. Wednesday with a sacrifice. And Friday with a sacrifice. When we call sacrifice, is something that costs you something. God, it is either you do this. I don't need to lay hands on you. I don't need to embrace you. This is the instruction he gave me. Obey it and do it. Every week, I told God, God, you tell me this, it happens. He tell me this, this is for the globe. Tell me what my people will do for them to have a testimony. And he has been giving me this. Last week, there was a testimony. Last two weeks, there was testimony. This week again, there's a testimony. I seen that beautiful keyboard. 400 and something thousand. Someone engaged on this prayer, sent money, said, God blessed me. Change the keyboard. Last week, last two days, we opened the carton yesterday. Because somebody is in he said Glory. this is my sacrifice God did this to me I'm putting this into the church people are having testimonies I encourage you online do it do it and follow suit you that is here do it when you don't have the account details the next Sunday come with the seed on the altar and say I close my fast for yeah. this week and God will bless us in the name of Jesus Amen. hear me I made a prophetic declaration on the altar last week I said pray against death if prophecies are not meant to plant fear in your heart, yes, sir. they are meant to guide you on how to pray ah. yes, and show you, okay, you have been praying this way now, this week change this prayer, am I speaking to somebody now? yes sir, this week do what? change, change this prayer, this week do what? change, change. somebody sit there a woman, you're always having a stomach bite when your menstrual cramp comes, the bite is something else, if you will not be ashamed with the person you always have a scum you too, a stomach bite cramps are too much as I was seated there, even as two of you, one person is about to experience, experience if you are not even experiencing it already. As I was speaking, I was hearing a cramp in my ear. That's how serious that cramp is. I was hearing it in my ear as I was talking. But I decree in the name of Jesus, as you climb this altar, you drop it. Yeah, yeah. man. As you climb this altar, kneel on this altar, I decree in the name of Jesus. Uh. Amen. That thing was created by God to regulate women. I don't know why that there was a day. Oh my God. You know, I studied and I happened to know that until you have a child as a woman, the cramp used to be very painful until they have children. When my wife was single, we had not married, she had not had the first child. They called me one day in her office, then we were cutting about to marry. I saw her rolling as if she was dying. I, we called hospital, we called people, we took her to hospital only for us to get there and they check everything. They said, I meant stra cramp. That this is our one, one killer ourselves for like this. But if you see her condition, I must I'm sharing it for you to know what women truly pass through. God just created that thing to regulate them. And it's until sometimes they have their first kids when they are married, that the pain reduces like that. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I saying mothers? Am I saying the truth? Yes. But we will not say B 
because they are not married, they should go and have children because of pain should reduce. Am I speaking to somebody now? I command this pain to cease in the name of Jesus. Hey, Amen. Settle. See that water? He said, God says he kept that water for the two of you. As you partake of that water in the name of Jesus, the scram sees it, you will not have it again. Amen. Amen. I said it will not have it again. Amen. Amen. You that is listening to me, that person that is owing you will give you your money. Amen. Amen. Somebody here, the person that is owing you will give you your money. Amen. Amen. Who is that person? Come. <laughs> you can go back to your seat. Carry the water. Two of you share it half half. That person that is owing you will not be at rest until your money is released. Amen. I will tell you what to do. Have you told the person to give you your money? Are they stubborn about it? They are stubborn about it. That's the kind of who I like. This is the kind of thing I like. I like. I like. After service, meet me in the office. I will tell you what to do. You just need anointing oil and water. And they write their names on pieces of paper. They will not be at peace. They will not be at rest. Any oh. money they make, they will use it to solve problem. Yes. Until they go and pay who, who they owe. That's they will be making money. But that money they are making, they will be using it to be solving problem. If they don't want to pay, they will be solving problem until they go to hell or they go to hell anyway. Come to the altar. I decree in the name of Jesus that whoever it is, he say, Oh no, man, the scripture says so. A laborer is worthy of his wages. Yes, sir. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. I decree in the name of Jesus. He who is on you, she who is on you, they will not have rest now. Amen. Until they give you that which belongs to you. Amen. Take your money in the name of Jesus. I take it out from them and I give it to you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. After service meets me, I will tell you what to do. That is not what I can say on the public space. Are you hearing me now? So there are some things that can be misinterpreted. There are some spiritual journeys that you go alone. You don't carry people along. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. And Hello beloved, I often say this, that in the altar of solution and prophecies, there is a prophetic solution for every problematic situation. Man of God, how do I partake in the altar of solution and prophecies? Many have called in to say prophesy to me, what does the year hold? Can God do that? Of course. He says he will teach us to number our days so we can know what the future holds. Many have said, Pastor, health issue, mental problems, health degradation, everything is going down. Can God do this? Yes, he can do this on the altar of solution and prophecy. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Many have called in and said, sir, please Please, I need an urgent intervention and ask what has happened. Property that belongs to them has been taken away from them. Others have called and said, Sir, please, marriage is not coming forth and I'm getting old. Others have called in and said, Sir, oh, my car just got missing. Others have said, Sir, I need to complete the building. Others abroad have said, My green card is not there. My visa is not coming forth. My document is not complete. Pray for me, sir. Many, many, many problems have received prophetic solution on this altar the day i take the glory the day i take the praise the day i say i'm the doer god will so give me a knock on my head that i will forget my name all the glory belongs to him how do i partake of this exercise that is the reason why this number is laid out on the screen here don't call send a whatsapp message you know why if i said you should call then that means a secretary is speaking a pa is speaking but this is my direct prayer line if you call this one calls and that one calls and that one calls it gets to a point where the calls are bombarding and i would not i wouldn't know the one to take and if you give me your prayer request through a call I will forget it because after you drop the call, another person is calling. So easy. Make it easy for me and make it easy for yourself. Go to the WhatsApp app. Die this number. Send me a message. I would welcome you. You give me your prayer request. I will respond immediately. Immediately, I am so programmed for that. Immediately that I will tell if I don't respond immediately, maybe I'm on the altar preaching. I'm in a program. But immediately, my phone is in my hands. I respond bond immediately and i will tell you the prophetic exercise that will be carried out for the prophetic solution you are looking for hear me if you can obey prophetic instructions no need for you to call in jesus would have told that blind man 
go, your eyes are open. No, he poured saliva on the ground. He mixed it with sand, put it in his eye socket. He didn't end. I said, young man, go and wash in the pool. Blind man should go and wash in the pool. A man that cannot see should go and wash in the pool. That is a very difficult instruction. This generation wouldn't have obeyed that instruction that you are telling a blind man to go instead of telling him his eyes open. The prophet told the widow of Zarephath, the last thing in your house, prepare it for me to eat. That is how your abundance come. In this generation, you give that instruction, they will call that prophet a thief. They will tell the prophet that the Bible says you should not pay money for, you should not... Uh, they will tell the prophet that God does not support you to give me what belongs to you before you do any miracle for you. Are you selling the miracle? You see that this generation don't love to obey instruction, but they want to come out of destruction. Not knowing that miracles are obeyed instructions. And this instruction obeyed by the one sharing the testimonies have just saved them from obstacles and problems of life. Are you willing to obey the instructions that come with the prayers you demand? Then come to the inbox. God can do it. Three days. Three days of prophetic attention i give you attention for three days my god will do it my god will do it my god will do it and for many of you yours is not prayer sir yours is just god has been so marvelous on this altar prophecies coming to pass back to back can i lay a seed of sacrifice on this altar just your sacrifice can turn life around for you just your sacrifice can answer prayers that would have been praying for three days this is the account it is go ahead and do as the spirit of god leads you and i know that the answer has come immediately in jesus mighty name God bless you really good. Pastor Mark Miracle, Prestige Gospel Center, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, West Africa. For every problematic situation, there is a prophetic solution. ASAP, Altar of Solution and Prophecies. ASAP, as soon as possible.